What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I have a special opening for you guys because we're opening up a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon booster box. Korean version. Okay. <laughs> one of these days I'll try to get an English one whenever, I don't know, maybe another stimulus check comes out. I might need a couple because a Legend of Blue Eyes box that's in English is kind of pricey. And honestly, if I ever got one, I'd probably keep it sealed. And that's even me saying that. So you know how rare that has to be then, right? So anyway, I picked up one of these Korean boxes. I usually find them off like eBay, if you guys are wondering. They're normally around... 15 25 bucks something like that. it depends on the set really i think this one was closer to 25 because legend of blue eyes so i thought it'd be fun to open up this set anyway you can still get blue white dragon dark magician red eyes exodia a lot of really cool cards and i get to keep both of my kidneys so i thought that might be good anyway though before we begin first off i want you guys to check out the new merch that i have I have this new dragoonity hoodie I think it looks awesome. This new Dragoonity design that I'm selling, it'll probably be till the end of this year. That'll be as long as it'll be available. Also have uh, stickers if you want something kind of cheaper, but you love the design. Have uh, shirts, of course, uh, phone cases, all kinds of stuff. So check that out. Link in the description. It really does help support the channel. And then also to check out orcashop.com. You may have noticed in the thumbnail, I think is where I'm going to put it, I actually got this Herakathy card from them. I believe that's how you actually pronounce it. I think that's how it was in the anime. Anyway, um, yeah, they make all kinds of really cool Orica cards. If you don't know what an Orica is, basically it's a fake card, and it's like a card that we never got in English, or sometimes they'll have like different artworks, but be like blue eyes with new artwork, or things like that. Of course, they're not tournament legal, but it's fun to have whether you're doing it with your friends, or you just want something like for a cosplay, or just a cool card like that. Like we have Herakathy, like if it was real, right here, and then we have like a version of it that would be in the anime, and even like the back too. So it's cool for like cosplay and stuff too. So check them out, link in the description. They're also having a sale with Black Friday where uh, I'm reading off to make sure I remember. <laughs> Let's see, it starts on the 25th, it's gonna run for a week and uh, there's gonna be up to 40% on everything in their store. So go over there, check them out. We even have a code for you guys too in the description. Um, yeah, they're an awesome store. They have all kinds of really cool stuff. I believe they also have official product and stuff too, but really cool Oricas, check them out, okay? You know what, I'm gonna put them in the background for a good look with our actual wooden god cards here. There. <laughs> All right. What are we getting? Can we get Exodia? That's kind of what I'm hoping. Can I? Might just rip this open. Eh, I guess I'll cut the tape. Don't cut anything like me. Oh, I'm doing it from the backside. Anyway, I'm making it tougher. That's just me. Basically, like in life, I do this. <laughs> There we go. All right, see, look at all these packs. Again, I think it was like 25 bucks. That's worth it. Let's get to it though. Enough talking, enough selling out. We gotta see what we have. So I try not to have too long of an intro for you guys, but sometimes you gotta announce a few things. Dark Succubus, remember that. Yeah, and you're not guaranteed a rare, by the way, so. Pretty cool to see all these cards again though. I think that's Firegrass, by the way. I do remember that one. Little tears are annoying on these. Monster Egg. I think I remember the name of that one. Legendary Sword. Lizard Dragon. I do remember him. And also that Panda card. With so many packs, too. Yeah, it might take a while to get to Hollows. We'll see. Mammoth Graveyard. And Terror the Terrible. I remember him too. <laughs> so many of these because I would get like one booster pack every so often with my allowance uh, back then when these were actually, you know, at Walmart and stuff. So I remember a lot of these commons. Airmail. Wasteland even. Basic Insect. And we got Fusionist. Okay, that's pretty cool. Finally a rare. I think it's the first rare we've gotten. I guess that's the reason they're so cheap, too. You have to fight for your rares. They are actually, you know, going with the name <laughs> when you get these. Forest. Oh, there you go. Skull Servant. And then, um, Fire Soldier? I, I forget the name. I know he's the one I use with Instant Fusion a lot. Or did. M Warrior. Remember him. And, uh, maybe this one's Fire Warrior. Because I know like, it's like Skull Servant, I think it's part of the fusion. So, yeah, another instant fusion target. I love the old fusions. They don't make a ton of sense, but they look cool. Oh, there you go. Spellbook. Petty Dragon. 
And Pot of Greed. There you go. Yeah, did you guys remember this was actually a rare? That always throws me off. I always think it's a hollow in this set. But no, it's a rare. I think it even was for us, too. So, they, what does it do? Come on, I can't read this one, honestly. So, what does it do? <laughs> the meme actually works here. <laughs> I can't read Korean. Something about drawing a, a couple of cards, I'm sure. Then, Hain Hain. I remember that one. <laughs> that was annoying one back in the day. Nice blue eyes white dragon. Goodbye, blue eyes. And oh we got Flower Wolf. I remember that one. That's another instant fusion target. Come on, let's start getting some hollows. I want to see a blue eyes from this. Wasn't that long ago we actually got a blue eyes from Legend Blue Eyes Pack. So I want to do it again. Oh, another one ter terrible. I'm at least thankful they have those tears. Makes it a little easier. Cream packs can be a pain otherwise. Cherry sword. And then uh, Arm Ninja. I forget which one. Maybe it is just blue Arm Ninja. I think maybe they do go by their colors. Another one's like red or, or crimson. Skull Servant. And, dang, I thought I had a hole in there. Yeah, this kind of how free in boxes go a lot of times. It's like, oh, we'll get a hole eventually. And then it happens. It, it does. Another one of our warriors. It taught to me giant, by the way. Another one of those armor cards. I always thought that was kind of cool. Umi. And, um, I want to say Metal Dragon or something? I think he was pretty straightforward. One that you can't use with Instant Fusion. There you go. Never actually using that card, though. It was like in a video game or something. Like, it was actually kind of decent in one of the games. In real Yu-Gi-Oh, not so much. Dragon Treasure. Uh, Flash Fire or something like that? I, I think it's something. I think it's like you inflict just some damage to your opponent or something. Simple. Petty Dragon, Red Medicine, I remember that. So many, come on, part of the card, tell me out here. It's because you guys have not clicked on that like button yet. That's what it is, see? Mountain, oh, Dragon Warrior, I think is the name of this guy. I remember him too. Of course he looks awesome. Right. And dang, I keep hoping that we're about to just start getting to him. There. On well, the starfish. I don't think we've seen that one yet. <laughs> At least something different. And a spirit heart. Remember that card? Always annoying to deal with back in the day with that 2000 defense, right? Don't see those kind of strategies anymore. <laughs> or they're a little bit more rare. Drilling Lizard. And uh, Reaper of the Cards. I always thought he was pretty cool, mainly because that attack and defense. I mean, he has like 1380 and then 1930. <laughs> so, pretty interesting. It's like one of the few cards that does that. It's like three or four, I think, that have weird attacks like that. They don't even have like the 50. But they're not rounded off at all. Another one of that Legendary Armor, I think is what it's called. There. And, well, <laughs> a giant soldier of stone. I feel like at least I'm getting some different stuff. Let's see. Yeah, a few minutes in without uh, getting a hollow is a little scary. Oh, oh, Carabana Warrior, I think it's his name. There you go. Another one of those instant fusion cards. And thank you. Okay. <laughs> Man, uh, look at the time right now. I think we've hit, what, close to 10 minutes. It's our first hollow. At least it's a piece of Exodia, so I'll take it. We actually got one of the legs of the Forbidden One, so <laughs> dang.
they make you work for again that's how these boxes are too it always seems like once i get about halfway through that's when you start seeing hollis thing it's where like every time i've done a korean opening i don't know why that is they make you work for it like seriously if you are to ever get just like a couple of packs from a korean box like they have them at a store or something pick from the back of the box <laughs> don't get from the front evidently from what i've seen it seems like it's always all like rares and commons at the beginning I forget the name of this one. I always thought it was kind of cool. But at least we got a piece of Exodia. Gosh. It's just crazy. And two-pronged attack. I do remember that one, oddly enough. Witty Phantom. I still remember him from, like, the episode where they go into the dual world. And... Thank you again! Alright! Now we got Dark Magician! Okay, I feel a lot better. Actually getting uh, LOB, Legend of Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, I'll take it. Even Korean, I don't care. I don't care what language it's in. It's Dark Magician, so that is awesome. And it's cool to actually get this too. So, again, choose from like the middle to the back of the box if you ever get one of these, okay? Seriously. Wow. <laughs> it's just crazy. I would sleeve these up too, but honestly the Korean versions aren't as, you know as expensive as the uh the english ones the english ones if i had a first edition box i'd be like sleeping everything probably wearing gloves again i don't think i would open one though silver fang oh there we go okay now we got dark hole even i'm just glad to see some hollows another cool one too i, I still think it's kind of cool it's another one that i always forget is actually a holographic in legend of blue eyes i think of i think pot of greed is and then i think this one's like a rare like i have them reversed so that's good Another hollow for us. I'm feeling a little bit better. It's kind of hard to talk much and figure out what to say when you're just getting all comments. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, what do I do? All comments on that one. I don't know exactly how many ultras you get from these. I always forget. Maybe we have another one on the way. We can get a blue eyes. Basic insect. I always like seeing that one. And Mammoth Graveyard. And... Oh, there's Celtic Guardian. I'll take that. Another Hollow for us. A super rare. I seem to always get him, I think. Even English version of him. I'll take it, though. Dave is pretty good at rapping. <laughs> on the abridged version. I always think of Bridge now more than the original series. I need to rewatch the original series. I watch the abridged version more, I think. So those are the voices that come to my head. Kind of like what happened with Dragon Ball Abridge. Think of their version of the show more than the actual. Got Sparks. Still think it's funny. We're seeing a few cards that we haven't gotten yet. Even after, I don't know how many packs have opened up. Petty Dragon. Then, another hollow for us. We have Mystical Elf. That is cool. All right, more of Yugi's cards. I'll take them. <laughs> that will always come in handy. So, there. And, of course, a hollow from Legend of Blue Eyes. Again, I don't care what language it's in. is always cool. Only a few packs left, by the way. I wish this set had Ultimate Rares. Of course, this is way before Ultimate Rares. But, <laughs> it'd be really cool to get one. Like A Blue Eyes Ultimate Rare from this would be amazing. But, unfortunately, that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. I think it's like a Japanese pack where you can get an Ultimate Rare one. Then... Oh! Hey! There we go! I wasn't expecting a Secret Rare! Oh, we got a Guy of the Dragon Champion! That is awesome! Okay! I was wondering about that. This is another one I usually have good luck getting, um, and I don't get, like, Trihorn Dragon. That's the other secret you can get. So, I'm glad I got Guy of the Dragon Champion. I mean, come on. That is probably the card that kind of connects with me more. He's a knight riding a dragon. I mean, username Cybernaut, also been Dragon Master before on my previous channel. Yeah, <laughs> this brings back some memories. So, that is really cool. I'm glad we actually got a secret rare, because I'm pretty sure you are not guaranteed one of these at all from this. So, that is awesome. There we go. I was hoping we had at least, like, another big hollow or something from this. I'm still kind of hoping for a blue eyes, I'll be honest, but uh, that makes me feel much better. There we go. 
Hands. Another hollow. Okay. Just keep them coming. We got polymerization. That is very nice. The original art and everything, too. Gotta love polymerization. Again, seriously, you guys notice this is towards the end of the box. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just telling you now. Yummy. And, okay, two packs left. Can we get another hollow? I'm just hoping for it. I'll be a little greedy, sure. I went, like, through 20 packs, I think, without a hollow, so I can be a little greedy, okay? <laughs> do I have that right? I feel like I do. Then, ah, oh, nothing on that one, but we're down to the last pack. So this one has all the power. Can we end with a hollow? Let's see. Get that blue eyes or red eyes. I take red eyes. <laughs> Let's see. Heart of the cards. Help me out here. And, ah, oh, unfortunately not. We got a phantom in the end. But yeah, at least we got some hollows. Man, at the beginning, I was thinking, oh, great. I got the only Legend of Blue Eyes Korean box that doesn't have any hollows. <laughs> That's what I was kind of wondering. But no, we actually got Guy the Dragon Champion. That's awesome. Then, of course, to our Dark Magician. I love this artwork, too. It's, it's one of my favorites. I would say at least top five or something. It's, it's hard to choose. A <laughs> piece of Exodia. I'll take that. Uh, Polymerization. Mystical Elf. Celtic Guardian. And then, of course, Dark Hole. So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Check out uh, orcashop.com as well. And again, check out different shirts and stuff that I have. Again, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.